Welcome back to our journey into the fascinating world of quantum reality. In our previous episodes, we explored the foundations of quantum computing, the mysteries of superposition, and the mind-bending observer effect. More importantly, we examined these concepts through the lens of ancient Indian wisdom, what we now call the Vedic perspective. But today, we are going even deeper. This is where it gets truly mind-boggling. Terracotta Creation presents Quantum Entanglement, Connecting the Space, Time and Existence. In this episode, we will break down what quantum entanglement really is, compare it to Vedic philosophy, and finally we'll try to find out the answer of the most profound question, what is truly in control? Space, time, the quantum field or consciousness itself. Let's begin. Quantum entanglement is one of the strangest phenomena in modern physics. It occurs when two particles become deeply connected in such a way that their states remain linked, regardless of how far apart they are. If you measure one particle, the other will instantly take on a correlated state, even if it is light years away. Einstein famously called this spooky action at a distance because it defies our classical understanding of space and time. Normally, we assume that information takes time to travel, but in entanglement, this effect happens instantaneously, faster than the speed of light. This suggests that at a fundamental level, distance may not be real. It could just be an illusion created by our limited perception. I will now give you an example. Imagine you and a friend each take a pair of identical magical dice, but before rolling them, they remain in an uncertain state, showing all numbers at once. Now, even if your friend travels to another galaxy and rolls their dice, the moment they get a number, your dice, no matter where you are, will instantly settle on a correlated number. It's as if the two dice were never really separate, but rather part of the same system beyond time and space. This is what quantum entanglement suggests. Particles don't truly exist as independent objects, but as parts of a deeper, interconnected reality. Now let's turn to ancient Indian philosophy. Thousands of years ago, the Vedas and Upanishads described a concept strikingly similar to quantum entanglement. The idea that everything in existence is interconnected beyond space and time. In Vedantic thought, the universe is not made up of separate objects, but is a manifestation of Brahman, the ultimate reality. According to Advaita Vedanta, or non-duality, everything we see as separate, people, objects, even galaxies, are just expressions of the same singular existence. Now I will give you a Vedic analogy to understand better. An ancient Indian metaphor describes reality as Indra's net, an infinite web of interconnected jewels. Each jewel reflects all other jewels, just like entangled particles reflecting each other instantly, no matter the distance. Similarly, the Mandukya Upanishad describes Turiya, a state of pure awareness beyond waking, dreaming and deep sleep where all realities exist as one. Just like in quantum entanglement, where particles seem separate but are actually linked, Vedanta suggests that all of existence is one interconnected consciousness, and separation is merely an illusion. Both quantum mechanics and Vedic philosophy agree on one thing. The universe is interconnected at a fundamental level. The similarities are, Quantum entanglement shows that two particles remain linked beyond space and time, and Vedanta describes reality as a single unified whole where everything is part of Brahman. In both views, space and time are not absolute but emergent properties of a deeper reality. Quantum mechanics suggests instantaneous knowledge transfer, just like the Vedas describe all things as inherently connected beyond perception. But there are some differences too. Quantum physics relies on probabilities, while Vedantic philosophy suggests a higher intelligence, consciousness itself, that organizes reality. Quantum measurement collapses possibilities into reality, but in the Vedic view, reality is already whole, and only our perception is fragmented. Science separates the observer from reality, whereas Vedanta sees consciousness or Atman as the fundamental observer creating reality itself. So, what is truly governing reality? Is it purely mathematical quantum laws, or is consciousness itself the missing link in understanding entanglement? 
If quantum entanglement is real and particles communicate beyond space and time, then we must ask, is space truly real, or is it an illusion created by quantum interactions? If entangled particles ignore distance, does distance really exist? Could space itself be a byproduct of entanglement rather than a fixed background? Is time absolute, or could it also be entangled across different moments? Could entanglement exist not just across space but also across time? Some theories suggest that a future event could influence the past, just like how measuring an entangled particle instantly affects the other. Is the quantum field the ultimate foundation of reality, or is consciousness beyond it? Quantum mechanics shows interconnected probabilistic events, but who or what is organizing these probabilities? The Vedic perspective suggests that pure consciousness, Atman, is the true observer beyond quantum physics. Could consciousness be the force that collapses reality, connects everything, and even creates space-time itself? Who is truly superior, time, space, the quantum field, or consciousness? Comment your thoughts now. Quantum physics and Vedic wisdom are converging toward a startling truth that reality is not what it seems. Entanglement proves that separation is an illusion. The Vedas say existence itself is one interconnected whole. Time, space and reality may not be fundamental. Consciousness may be the missing piece to understanding it all. What if everything is already entangled? Not just particles, but minds, choices and even different realities. Could the universe itself be one vast quantum field of consciousness? The more we understand entanglement, the more we realize science and ancient wisdom might just be telling the same story in different ways. Please do comment your thought. Any of your comment may help us find a new way of thinking. Let's find together. Like, share, comment and subscribe for more deep explorations into science, spirituality and the quantum nature of existence. Do not forget to press the bell icon. It will help us to be entangled with your thought. Thanks for watching.